So first I start by combing all of the hair up. And Chad hasn't had this done in a really long time. So, perfect example. And just cut off the tops that you trim that you combed up and when you trim it you turn it into a round shape that's what there's a kind of And you can take thinning shears and go around. Or you can take little tiny scissors, round scissors, and go around. Just using the thinner shears to take off the extra. And don't take off this part here on the side of the last nail because you want to blend that into the feathers so just leave that long until you're ready for feathers and you have to keep on combing it up and keep on trimming it off because you'll grab different hairs with each comb so now you can see that compared to that He doesn't want to move his foot. There you go. <laughs> I have to run. to put a ponytail on this feather. Stay. Stand. Stand. Stay. Stay. What are you doing? And you don't want to show their nails too much. So it should be it should cover their nails, but also be rounded like a cat ball. Very good. Every time. Not so much. These are the little tiny clippers I use. They're rounded, they're teeny tiny, they're from Fromm. And I just use them to go around. Wait. I just use them to go all the way around the foot to make sure I got all the little wild hairs on the bottom that the thinners can't reach. So you compare that to when you brush up the other foot that hasn't been done, you can see a big difference in length. This is only just a tiny bit. Can you stick your finger in it just so? Well, my, na my finger pad is touching the top of his toe, so that's how long the hair kind of is. 
And then over here, let's see, his toe is, so that goes all the way up my finger. But it's different for each dog too. If your dog has really, really high toes, then you'll probably want to cut it down shorter. No, stay. Okay, so same thing with the front feet. Pull them all the hair up. And start by thinning all that off. Now I like to take some of that off. And then I also like to do the front of the foot. So I just lightly lift it. Uh -uh. And <laughs> it's tickly, so they don't want to let you at first. But I like to cut ex all the extra stuff off the front so I can get a better shape of the foot. And then comb back up. And again, be careful. Don't cut into the hawk because you're going to want to blend that in later. You gotta be real careful so you don't make indents. You don't want to see like toes, you just want to go nice around. You can see the nice circle here. Okay. And I'll use my comb as a guideline to get that. Okay, so we did the top of the foot here. So this is all trimmed. Now we have to blend in the hawk here. And what the rule kind of is, is you don't want any hair sticking past the foot. So what I do is I use my comb as kind of a guideline to show how much I want to cut off. And put it up against the foot. So that's how much we're going to come take off. So I just go in and I thin out eyeballing where my comb was. Helps us stack. So we took off a lot, but my 
still right in here, there's extra. Beak! Now you can see it getting shorter with the side. And then also what I'll do is I'll put the foot all the way on the edge of the table so his his feet are here. He's not going to step off. But I can get closer down to the bottom of the foot and blend that back in to the hawk. Stay. Now, you can go back in put your comb there and nothing sticks out. Oh. There you go. See? There's the end of the foot. Then you have to go all the way around. blend in the hawk to what you've just cut off. So this is all too long now. Stand. And there you get, stay. Now you start to see the blend of the hawk in here down with the foot. So the inside, you're going to have to even up as well. They make them put their toes on the edge of the table again and just clean up that inside, rounding it and blending it in as well with your line from the other side. So now you can see we're getting that shape in here. And you can do the same trick on the outside of the foot as the inside if you're having trouble seeing where you got stick outs. <laughs>